Surface collapse is responsible for millions of dollars of damage each year. Such costs include reparations to structures as well as the rehabilitation of formed sinkholes. The Vera Cruz sinkhole cost 700,000 US dollars to repair and a sinkhole in Bowling Green, Kentucky, which caused severe road damage, cost more than 1 million US dollars to fill up. Surface collapse also poses threats to human life and has caused numerous fatalities in the past. Karst terrains consist of landforms created due to the dissolving of carbonate rock, such as limestone and dolomite, and the dissolution of evaporates, such as gypsum and halite, resulting in the formation of caves, sinking streams and large springs. The surface morphology of karst terrains developed in response to rain and groundwater as it entered the ground and developed according to three broadly defined scales. Firstly, Karen is collectively known as landforms which include pans and runnels in bedrock, which have a diameter of less than 10 meters. Secondly, karstic closed depressions include sinkholes and dough lines with a diameter of 1 to 1,000 meters. Lastly, large-scale landforms such as dry valleys and gorges are greater than 1 km in diameter. Karst terrains have developed to at least some degree in most countries with limestone as the most pervasive sedimentary rock type in the world. The causes of sinkhole formation are natural and geological in nature, with various human-induced factors speeding up the formation process. Sinkholes and dough lines are able to form during a combination of processes, such as the dissolution of karstic bedrock, rock collapse, soil collapse and soil downwashing. Natural causes of surface collapse are mainly ascribed to the dissolution of carbonate bedrock by acidic water, such as weak carbonic acid. This causes cavities to slowly form in the bedrock as the acid dissolves the carbonate away. Alternatively, the dissolution of carbonate bedrock occurs near groundwater levels, causing caverns to form. The cavern roof is supported by the water pressure. Therefore, where groundwater is removed from such caverns, the roofs may collapse, resulting in an eventual sinkhole to form. Short-term sinkholes are caused by human activity rather than natural processes. Induced sinkholes commonly form where large quantities of water enter the ground at concentrated places through unlined ditches and leaking water mains. Of all induced sinkholes, dewatering of unconsolidated materials located on karst terrains cause the most sinkholes to form worldwide. The mining and quarrying industries are liable for the greatest impacts due to the extensiveness of dewatering caused by such practices. Sinkholes form due to successive dome collapse. As the concentrated infiltration of water occurs, subsurface erosion starts to take place, causing materials to be transported downwards into underlying cavities nearest to it. Successive arch collapse is created due to headward erosion. The collapse stops where a stable arch is encountered usually consisting of a more stable near-surface layer which can remain stable for some time. Once the last arch loses its state of stability by means of a triggering mechanism, a sinkhole forms. Triggering mechanisms may include an increased amount of groundwater abstraction or soil downwashing due to a concentrated addition of water to the ground. Other triggering mechanisms may include ground vibrations. Two groups of sinkholes are encountered. Solution sinkholes are generated in karstic rock near the surface where differential deterioration of the surface occurs, creating a lowering of the surface. Subsidence sinkholes are formed by various processes, such as subsurface dissolution and the downward movement of overlaying material. Sinkholes are classified according to five intensities, ranging from little movement to very severe movement. 
The formation of sinkholes can be expected on caustic land where dense, highly jointed and thinly bedded chemical sedimentary bedrock is observed. The rate of dissolution depends on the flow rate and chemical aggressiveness of water. Thus, the specific climatic region, the pH of the ground, as well as the CO2 concentrations all play notable roles in cast formation. In these areas where sufficient large cavities have developed, a triggering mechanism will cause a surface collapse event to occur. Fissures may take thousands of years to develop under natural conditions, but a sinkhole can develop in several hours if it is induced. Paleo sinkholes are historic sinkholes. These sinkholes are typically filled with wind transported material and can be reactivated where the right activation mechanisms are present. Sinkhole formation can either be prevented or rehabilitated. In both cases, material is added to the sinkhole conduit. The material is generally graded with the finer material at the top and the coarser material at the bottom. Although this practice has been successful, the best option is to prevent human settlement on caustic terrains prone to sinkhole formation.